Ladies and gentlemen, Ibrahim, February 24th, 2021. Guys, I'm just going to shed light on this um, award with Ngi Francis Bengay Fala, you know, from the American Embassy. I'm just going to shed light on this real quick. So, you know, this is the website of the American Embassy, by the way, if you want for CM. It's sl.usembassy.gov. So Ben Kaifala honored with Anti-Corruption Champion Award. Okay. I'm going to read it here before I make my comments about this whole thing. So it says, Freetown, on Tuesday, February 23rd, uh, Charger d'Affaires Affairs, Elaine M. French, presented Francis Ben Kaifala with the Department of State International Anti-Corruption Champions Award. Mr. Kaifala was honored for his leadership as the Commissioner of Sierra Leone's Anti-Corruption Commission which has enhanced efforts to fight corruption in Sierra Leone, including the strengthening of anti-corruption laws and working to hold public officials accountable for corrupt acts. Mr. Kaifala was one of the 12, was one of 12 anti-corruption champions from different countries. So he's, he's one of 12 in different countries recognized by United States Secretary of State Anthony J. Blinken for changing the world for the better through their work to combat corruption and fight for transparency and accountability. These champions are members of government, the press, civil society, and the judiciary. Guys, I want you to pay attention to the wording. You see, first of all, before I get into that, let me make this clear. This is an indictment on how weak the opposition in Sierra Leone has been, first of all. The APC and you, the people of Sierra Leone, are all every one of you guys when you were sitting there when they say when i come out on a protest against everything that is happening in that country from the human rights abuses to the corruption that is currently going on this is uh, an indictment on, on a character the apc and the opposition party and it tells us that we have a lot of work to do because again remember these guys is all about perception it is the image that they've created and that's our own understand this is where we're going with this it's about perception you see, because the government in narrative is what they know, but the voice of the people is not heard. And the only way the voice of the people would be heard, if Unabi don't protest against Francis Ben Kaifala with the way where they go after this corruption thing, from the total don't point out to Una say, this guy is chasing perception because this is the desired effect of what they've been doing and they've been doing it. And I'm telling you guys, we're not lost effect yet. So now what you want to do as Sierra Leoneans is to challenge this award, basically. Write to the State Department, question them. How, what basis, what parameters, what sample, how did they come up to get Francis Ben Kaifala this award? When I remember, when Mr. David Reimer, the new ambassador to Sierra Leone, um, was in his, uh, his, his uh, confirmation hearing at the Senate, they asked him about the fight against corruption in Sierra Leone, and he said the government is doing well because, again, it was perception. They were chasing former President Koroma, so that's how it looks. It looks like, okay, they're going after the government, but now they have corruption on their nose. We know President Bio, you know, um, the anti-corruption, the Auditor General's report came out blistering, you know, from 2018, 2019. The, tell them people, this is what I tell them. If you don't have to wait for the International Committee of Fed for Honor, nobody's going to come to your rescue until they see you, the people. Una team up, una really say yes, we have to fight for ourselves. And that is the only way you guys would get the re desired result. So if you're not a vex for Pam Francis Ben Kaifala because of this award, I mean, it's it's on you guys. It's on APC as a political party. It's on the opposition. It's on every one of us as Sierra Unions. What are you doing to bring these issues to the to light? What are you doing to bring these issues to the attention of the international community? You didn't have the diaspora. I must say you don't write to Senate. I must say you don't write to a member of Congress, Naya, to a member of the Senate for say, this is what is happening in Sierra Leone when it comes to the fight against corruption. What have you done in that line to to bring these issues to light because if Francis Ben Kaifala, if the people they don't protest against Francis Ben Kaifala, where did he go and chase former President Kromai and make rudeness and make noise when they left the government, the anti corruption, the Auditor General's reports are coming out. We talk about the, the fight against corruption, the MCC report, and all these things, but everybody sit down. December 1 was an opportunity for Lona to come and share, and Lona no say yes, and the world for no say the fight against corruption. It's not going anywhere. This man is actually covering corruption. But when I vex now, like for say, you know, it's because of the poor, you know, opposition that we have. 
when it comes to these um, awards, me personally, and again, nothing, you know, I, because Francis Ben Kaifala has nothing to, uh, on me when it comes to awards. A lot of us within America, uh, you know, uh, we don't get meritorious medals, them, you know, what kind of award I get. I get goodwill ambassador. I can go to any part of the world today to represent America. I have those awards. It's fair, right? So it's not a big deal for me, but it's a lot of a big deal for, you know, a lot of you guys. I know that hey, 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 this is nothing. You just get for going hanging a wall. But at the end of the day, the American government recognize, you know, this man because you guys are not standing up to it. That is what the bottom line, bottom line is. We all know, say, the man of the feds corruption. But what the people here, they look at the words of them, the SLPP government. That is what they hear. That is what they see. So keep fighting. You have, I have a lot of work to do. This is not a, this is not a, 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 a quick 100 meter race. This is a journey. When I got for continue for agitate, write to the international community, when I write to the sec Secretary of State, when I complain the reason why we feel safe, Francis Ben Kalaf, Kefala not deserve this. The first lady in investigation, when they come, they say they go 14 years for go fed the other first lady force for C. Uh, you know, it, it never went after the SLPP, Tijan Kaba government for C. What did they do? What did they not do 14 years back and all this stuff? They, you know, it's a, we know the guy they pick in fight with this corruption. So definitely, I can tell her for free, say, we know. Know the people of Sierra Leone say Francis Ben Kaifala not deserve this award, but hey, you don't get them. The American government don't get them. So, what are you going to do to tell the international community how you feel? Write to them, let them know the reasons why you feel say Francis Ben Kaifala has been blowing smoke. It's all about perception, he's actually not fighting the corruption but covering the corruption in the country. So, you guys have a lot of work to do. Not to we one, not to me one. We all get a lot of work for do for bring to light the things that are happening. Now money not in the country, so then guy they swindle the money. The president they take one million dollar travel go. That is corruption. The chief minister day that is corruption. But Maria Briwa feel unnecessary say for give Francis Ben Kaifala an award. Even though she knows and she listens to people like us, she knows the fight against corruption is nothing. Francis Ben Kaifala is only chasing the opposition and not actually doing his work to stop corruption right now in front of our face. All right? So when I left for Vex, yeah? When I do it, when I for do. APC, this is an indictment on you guys as the biggest opposition in Sierra Leone. Now when I allow this for happen. But anyways, bye-bye everybody.